day 11 the real day 11 this time not <laughs> I got it wrong yesterday didn't I I was not counting properly anyway welcome to today's vlog it's New Year's Eve woohoo the last day of 2018 I don't know why I sound so happy because I'm gonna miss 2018 I think but I'm always looking forward to the future so bring it on 2019 <sighs> it's back to work the B&B is up and running. We have guests tonight. We have guests tomorrow night. We have guests on Wednesday. So that's three nights in a row. So we're going to be quite busy. I'm actually stuck at home at the moment waiting for tonight's guests to arrive. I'm actually sitting in our pod. I thought I'll show you a little bit of the pod. So here, folks, is a little view of our glamping pod. So there's the entrance looking out onto our newly landscaped garden which I may show you a little bit of in uh, in a moment. Uh, it's very dark and gloomy outside so you might not see a huge amount. So we'll just take you in a little tour of the pod. We have a very nice sofa here which turns into a double bed by pulling out these and there's two tabs below there that pulls out and it converts into a large sized double bed which is very nice then we have uh, a fixed double bed there and through this door here let's turn the lights on through this door here there is a toilet with a wash basin so it's self-contained from that point of view. Of course there is no shower, which is a disadvantage, but we have a kitchen and a shower down at the bottom of the garden. Okay, so let's show you a little bit from the outside now. I've got the heating on and it's quite warm in here. It's actually quite cozy. Don't need to have any more heating on. I'm gonna put this little light on in anticipation of the guests arrival okay so now we're outside and that's the entrance they have their own private entrance and parking area and here is the pod outside it's all wood except for the roof the roof is made of a composite material I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm guessing it's a sort of a resiny. It's a, a resiny sort of, yeah. Don't know exactly. And in the front, that's the our pump house, which needs a little bit of tarting up. Uh, and I would quite like to build a little shower at the, the side there, but uh, I'd have to get new electrical connection because the power coming up to the pump house is not powerful enough to run a shower. So we have this little table which I bought this year <coughs> for people to sit out on <coughs> and then we have the landscape garden. Obviously as it's winter everything has died back so you're only seeing those things which are evergreen or flourish in the winter. And this little area here it's very damp because of the outflow of the water from the sink in the pod and it's obviously flowing this way because we have reeds growing here which is rather nice. I quite like that. That tree unfortunately is dead. I need to replace it. <coughs> so walking down we have this pathway that goes down to our patio. Uh, my shed there on the left and of course all these shrubs which are beginning to look quite healthy now they're coming along but there's still a lot more growing to do and then we have more around here which are coming along quite nicely down to patio. Now this patio is made up of uh, all recycled stone 
These came from a house which was being renovated uh, about 20 miles away and they offered us they offered the stones for free and okay they're not uh, they're not the prettiest but they're functional I've got quite a lot of greenery growing here though if you see here so we'll need to clean these off but I'm not going to do that until the spring so then walking down the garden this is less developed um, the grass needs replacing because it's all weedy grass wheat grass I call it <coughs> down to the end my water butts that's in case we have another summer like the summer we just had and then we come into the outhouse this is the outhouse and this is due for complete renovation this winter I'm going to put in a new kitchen new kitchen units and it should be really very nice and in here we have another toilet and we have a shower for podcasts I hope you enjoyed that little trip around my pod and outhouse which is the outside part of my bed and breakfast and we'll see some of the the rest of the property in another video but as you're seeing this on new year's day i want to wish you all a very very happy new year i hope it brings you health and happiness well okay wealth as well if you really insist so i'll see you again tomorrow so it's bye for now